What's up guys and welcome back to Savage Planet. So I thought it was a good time to make an update on my prediction and uh, of course the prediction of Helmut Norpot, a guy who was very right in predicting the election of 2016 and most elections before that. So he has gone on Fox Business and talked with Lou Dobbs about this and he stands by his predictions. There is no reason to change it, Trump is still going to win according to him. And uh, this comes, of course, after all the riots and all of the social unrest that has been going on, and as well as the economy. Because Trump's re-election can be predicted, in short, through the primary model. And of course, I have made a video about him before, and his usual accuracy when it comes to these things. Also, the swing of the pendulum still favors the Republicans, because there's only been four years of Trump. And Helmut, it is great to see you again, and you are predicting that who will win in 2020. Well, thank you for having me back again, and I'm predicting that Donald Trump has a 91% chance of being re-elected. 91%, my gosh. The, this model of yours, we've talked about this model, which is extraordinary uh, in terms of its accuracy. Uh, I, I, how do you imagine somebody like CNN could come up with a model that would project 400 uh, electoral votes? Does that seem to you to be, well, within the, within the realm generally of what we call science? Well, I don't go by uh, opinion polls. I go by the real polls. I go by what happens in the primary elections. And in those primary elections, especially in the early ones, Donald Trump did very well, and uh, Joe Biden, as uh, many of you may have forgotten by now, uh, struggled uh, handily in New Hampshire where he came in fifth. 91% chance. Now, of course, we may speculate that the remaining 9% is if something really weird happens, and, you know, it could be something like what we have seen lately, like the pandemic, like the riots, and the extremely unprecedented uh, pro protests against these statues and even autonomous zones first in Seattle and now in New York. But it's clearly looking like Trump is the favorite and there is there are not just that one theory who supports that. Uh, the swing of the pendulum theory also favors Trump. Now the 13 keys by Alan Lichtman, which is of course something I have talked a lot about before, that is something that he has not himself come out with yet. In my latest video about that, it was clear that it was left open the possibility that a swing key changed. And uh, that could have something to do with the economy, and it could have something to do with other things. But right now, I would be really surprised if Lichtman made something, made a prediction that was contrary to Helmut Norpert, because they both have a history of predicting correctly with th this theory and uh, they have a theory they have a history of predicting of creating a theory that has predicted elections long before even they were born so it would be a big shock if one of them suddenly failed and the fact that north but is standing by his prediction that trump is definitely going to take it it speaks volumes anyway that's it from me today if you find this informative please like please subscribe and it really helps me and motivates me to make more content for you guys. Anyway, that's it for me today. See you soon.